This week at Coffee and Tools, we're going to say on 3D printers, the overwhelming response of 3D printers has said, yes, there needs to be more shows about the CR10 and uh, 3D printing in general. There's a lot of sophisticated software behind these machines, and there's also a lot about the machines themselves, and so there's a lot to learn. I'm basically a newbie, so I'm walking you through the same steps that we'd all have to go through if we first got our 3D printer and decided, let's find out you know, what we can do with a 3D printer. And I have to admit, I have been very surprised, but very happy. Uh, this, uh, this week, I uh, wanted to uh, tackle the CR10, and uh, I guess a question that's been on my mind since day one, since I got the printer, and so we're going to get right into it, and that is checking the temperatures and finding out what are the actual temperatures to like something like this, like a CR10, what are the actual temperatures reading? Because what this is saying right here, so this is just a good example. Right now, I'm running a 200 degree nozzle, or 200 Celsius, uh, excuse me, 200 degrees Celsius nozzle, and I'm running the bed at 60 degrees Celsius. But the question in, on my mind is, is the bed really at 60 degrees Celsius? Is the entire bed at 60 degrees Celsius? And what is the nozzle doing? And there's wind blowing, or there's a fan blowing on the nozzle that blows this way to cool the parts, but does it affect the nozzle? Is there a cold side to the nozzle? Let's find out. Hey, there's only one way to find out, and that's this little device that we just so happen to have right here. Now, as soon as the print finishes, we're going to get into it. Oh, yeah. Be right back. Uh, welcome back. What I'm doing right now is I've set the bed temperature at 60 degrees Celsius. And I guess what we want to know is really the big question here. And I've turned the lights off. Let's see if this will work uh, a little bit better. But first place I want to do is I'm going to shoot the gun at the center of the bed. And then we're going to take a reading and just see exactly what temperature does this say we're at. And right now you can see it's like 58.6. So we're not exactly at 68 or 60 degrees Celsius, excuse me, as I... I thought, but we're, boy, we're close. Look at that, 59. I mean, we are very close to that 60, so that's not bad. My big question here is the corners. When you get out on the corners here, such as out here, uh, look at this. There's a drop. The temperature has actually dropped, and we're showing about 56.6, 56.4. So we're around 56 Celsius. And let's check the other corner and just see if all the corners of the bed are even the same. Look at how cold this is over here. 52 degrees Celsius. So that's a big drop. Then I'm going to come to the front, same thing. Let's do the front of the bed. And again, let's take a look and see what the reading is. This is what I suspected all along, but I'm reading like 47 out here on the front of the bed. 47, 40, 45, 42. It's jumping around. And the reason I'm concerned about this is if I wanted to do a large print. Wait a minute now, I'm getting a little bit better. Now. So we're still flopping around here a little bit. 54, 55, that's not bad. Let's shoot this corner, and same thing. Let's see what we got. Uh, see if we can get a good reading. And we're running right around 52, 55, 54. Yeah, this is what I suspected all along. Uh, the plate itself on the CR-10, with the heater and the metal and everything, conducting through with air, whatever happening, you, you know, you're going to end up with the edges of the bed are going to be colder. So if you're doing something large, you might want to consider even bumping your temperature up a little bit. I've noticed that small parts in the center of the bed is where I always try to put my part because that's where my heat is and it seems to work very well, sticks very well, and everything comes out pretty good. But the edges don't seem to really quite have it. Let's try the center of the edge over here. And again, we'll see if we can get a decent reading here and it's boy it's not bad you know it's 57 almost 58 degrees Celsius that is really not that bad uh, and when you're doing PLA for example uh, this is gonna this is gonna work just fine there's there's 58 seems to be a little warmer on this side for some reason yeah 57 okay but uh, as you can see there's the whole bed is not exactly what I thought it would be, which is not really a surprise because it's almost like a law of physics says the edge of the bed is going to be a little bit cooler, but we're not losing as much heat as I sort of thought we might be. So let's try the next thing. I'm going to move the bed back a little bit here. Um, 
and I'm going to uh, let's see I'm going to raise the up the control we're going to go to temperature this time we're going to go to nozzle and let's run the nozzle up to let's see let's run the nozzle to 200 or eh, whatever let's pick a temperature uh, how's 180 sound eh. mm, 192 195 eh, let's go 200 okay now we're gonna be at 200 degrees I'm gonna turn the light back on cuz I had the light off so you could see the infrared beam a little bit better so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna actually come into the nozzle and see if we can get a, a reading on this and we're on the nozzle we're on the beam let's see and I can't see it so we'll turn the and you can see the nozzle is not 200 degrees Celsius it's just not which I sort of suspected but I want to absolutely absolutely put something on here and actually prove that that nozzle does not even burn my fingers at times it's warm but it doesn't really burn you because it's not really at 200 degrees Celsius. What's at 200 degrees Celsius? What we call the hot end, which is right before the nozzle. So the nozzle is conducting heat. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. You can see that a little bit better. Um, I'm right on the edge of the nozzle, and look at that. I'm not even hitting 60 degrees Celsius at that point. So interesting. Yeah. The maximum temperature I could read off the nozzle was uh, 70 degrees Celsius. So. That is pretty amazing. Now, so what does that mean? Well, like I said, first off, it means that if you do a large item, the bed is going to be just a tad cooler than in the center. So you might want to raise the bed temperature up just a little bit more, like add five degrees Celsius or something will probably make up the difference of the outer edge. The nozzle situation is just pure speculation and pure curiosity on my part because I was really kind of you know wondering. Um, I've cleaned the nozzle off many times and even hit it with my hand and I've never been burned but I thought you know that's really odd they say that you'll know, really watch those nozzles so let's try the hot end at the top and just see what the top looks like right up in here now I'm only reading 30 degrees Celsius right now so I'm not really showing too much going on there hmm okay yeah. now if we can get down into the hot end which is going to be hard without that fan in my way. And let's see. No, nah, really can't get to the hot end of the fan, or the hot end with the fan running and everything that's cooling it off anyway. So cool. All right. Hey, this week at Cock and Tools, we thought we'd do something a little crazy and just see what the temperatures actually are around us that we're working in.